Good morning, my community family. Um, it has been a while, I understand. So today is going to be catch-up day, and we're going to sit down and have some coffee as I'm also doing some studying. So let's get to this. So to get you caught up on to what's been happening, it seems that um, there will be a few things I won't be doing anymore on this homestead. I'm not taking any more risks. First of all, I will say, in the land that we live in, honestly, we cannot step away from all processed food. I know that there are folks out there who think that everything we do we can step away from processed food and honestly we can't and sometimes stepping away from processed foods can also be dangerous if, if it's not taken care of and what I mean by this was about six days ago I made a beautiful quinoa watermelon salad and in that salad I used my homemade feta cheese now, that feta cheese I recently made from a gallon of milk that stated it was uh, pasteurized milk. However, it was not labeled correctly as it was fresh, as fresh cow's milk as possible. Now, I kind of knew that, but um, needless to say, I made my mistakes, I made my cheese, and I have taught you all about canning. Well, there's other things besides that, and I'm going to tell you there are certain things you cannot taste and you cannot see, y'all. And I ended up getting food poisoning. And it took me down for six days. I am just now starting to get back to normal as much as possible and recovering from it. So I'm going to tell you I will not be making any more feta cheese. If I want this stuff, I am actually going to buy it. Now, with that, I understand that a lot of people think that you can get away from all process, and you can't. You absolutely cannot. Now, I don't live on a big farm where I can actually go out there and milk my own cows to know that I am going to be safe, me and my husband both. 
So I have to do what I have to do. Now I will say I will continue to keep growing my own food. That is without a doubt. I will be making my own food and still milling my own bread. But there are certain things I will not be making homemade again. Personally, I'm not sure it's even worth it. Uh, it could end up, because the way things are going, even the costs are getting higher. So it's right now cheaper for me to buy feta cheese at Aldi than it is to go to making it myself. And honestly, at this point, I don't want to take any more risks. So, but in the sense of it, this also led me into a path of serenity. Uh, I have a few other things that I am actually going through, which I'm not going to speak to about on this channel. But it has led me into a place where I'm going to adventure even further out. Um, it's leading me into another opportunity, actually. And yesterday, in, I have lived in this town for six years. And I had done a lot of major praying lately. And yesterday, I was led to the most gorgeous place I had ever seen in my entire life. I took, I got out of this house and I went for a walk. I actually had a picnic with my daughter-in-law and grandkids and we went for a walk and it led me into a place that God showed me of my future adventures. It was wild. It was, it's just so beautiful and one day, one day I'm going to take you all to this place and we're going to sit down and have actually a probably an iced tea moment with my little chicken cup. <laughs> But that place is so gorgeous, and I want to take you there with me one time, and it's going to be very soon. So look forward to that one. Um, this isn't going to be a long video. I'm still doing a lot of recuperating. I am just now being able to start cooking food into my kitchen, and it's been, it's been a mess, y'all. <laughs> It's been a mess, and I have been extremely humbled through all of this. So, um, if I get to a point where I am going to be the one to make my own homemade coffee creamer, and it has processed food, so be it. Y'all, I'm not going to say I can get away from all of it. And yes, I do a lot of fresh cooking. That is not going to change. It is not going to change at all. I'm still doing a lot of my Mediterranean. That is not going to change. I still do a lot of fresh food, but here's another scary thought. My fresh food that I'm purchasing, when I went through this with my feta cheese, I was actually watching what I'm buying, and it's turning just as fast before it even hits my refrigerator. That's a scary thought of what we're purchasing and throwing away and what we get to consume so what is it that the fresh that we buy is going to end up being any different than the feta cheese that I ate um, some of these things that we are getting is really I don't know I'm going to be careful at what I say right now all I'm going to say is use your better judgment but if you see me using a product, I use coffee creamer in my coffee. And it is not a non-preservative product. If you look at everything that we even make homemade, I had to be in my own reality. And a lot of things that I make homemade, you know, there are certain things. I can make my ghee. That's fine. Uh, I can still do a lot of things on my own. But I can't step away from it all. So I'm going to tell you this, folks. For those of you who are struggling, I want to apologize to you for making, if I ever at this point thought or made you feel that 
you had to do it my way or it wasn't good enough because the economy we live in is really really hard it's tough y'all we're all on a budget and if you have to be able to just buy a couple dollar and a quarter cans of soup guess who did that recently just so I can get up out of bed I spent a dollar and a quarter at Dollar General for chicken broth and beef broth was it a good choice and maybe some other eyes in the homesteading world maybe not but in my eyes it was very convenient and you know what it helped get me out of bed I apologize to you if I made you feel that it wasn't good enough if that's all you can put on your shelf please do I do encourage you to cook from scratch though um, it is better than the prepackaged stuff from the freezers and and that's all honestly uh, from the prepackaged boxes that is it's hard too but if that is all you can do by all means feed your family I will be the one still yet making all of my recipes from scratch to the best of my ability but when I look at my products I'm going to tell you not everything is without preservatives I will not be the one on my high horse telling you, oh my gosh, you that's full of chemicals and this and that. I have had it come to me and I have seen it so many times to other people. Yes, I fresh mill my flour for the simple fact my husband can have bread as a diabetic. It is not under the purpose of just preservatives. Um, Y'all, getting food poisoning is a really big deal and so it's hard to say right now because the choice that I made to do what I did to make that tease it, it was a big risk it was a situation where I knew this stuff wasn't labeled properly I took my risk on it and that's it I took my risk on it and when I noticed my weight being very different than I've seen ever before it had me ugh, it's how I found and traced where I got sick from and so yeah that was that was something and it settled me it, it settled me to the point of extreme humbleness to come unto you and apologize to you if I had ever made you feel like the chemical police. Y'all, sometimes we just do what we gotta do. Taking risks sometimes can be good, just like when I take risk of being a homesteader. Um, but, for the most part, I do, this is why also, I do my canning by the book. This is no fun, y'all. And this didn't go by my canning. This went by something else that I had done. But my canning is absolutely done by the book for this purpose. And that will not change. And I still will can my own food. But I'm going to make different choices. So you will find me using processed food. And if I'm going to get any chemical polices, I'm sorry. Um some things are just to me worth buying than it is to make and my feta cheese will be one of them if you my lovely friends are in a situation where you can't just do homemade I get it do what you can but when you get the opportunity try it homemade as well so um, like I said it's hard to put beautiful produce unless you're growing it yourself it's really hard to put produce in your refrigerator without it going bad too I had bought raspberries before I got sick I bought raspberries and by the time I was able to get up out of my bed my raspberries had molded y'all this has got me so frustrated 
I don't know what to think anymore. So I am going to sit back and I'm going to enjoy life with this homestead, with life itself. When I take you to this place, it was almost as if, how do I explain this? I was led to serenity. That's the best way I could put this place. I was led to serenity. It was like I was led to sit down in a place right beside God and just a peace over me I have never felt before. A humbleness to make me stop and think so many things and for other areas to say no more. So, uh, I know maybe I'm talking in riddles right now. It's hard to describe, but I do have another adventure I'm working into on top of this one. And I'm going to take that leading. I will be doing a lot of um, my Christian stuff with this new adventure. So, um, yeah. But I am okay, y'all. I have to say thank you to a few of you who have checked up on me just about every day. I am sorry if I worried you. I honestly couldn't, I couldn't even get up out of bed. So, um, I apologize, but at the same time, thank you so much for contacting me and seeing if I was okay and seeing me through this and for your prayers that was amazing and for all of you who responded to the post we're going to let you know that I was down and I was sick thank you for all of your prayers and y'all it helped it absolutely helped but again some things in life when it happens to you it can be a blessing now, I could have looked at this as the worst nightmare ever, and I could have been so angry and so much other things. But instead, this turned into a very beautiful blessing. And one day, very soon, I can't wait to take you to my serenity spot. I found that peace. I found that place. And although it's not on this homestead, it's not, but it's a place that I can go to <clears throat> outside of this. Now, this place is my serenity, too. Don't get me wrong. This place is my serenity, but it's my secondary place that is so, so I could see so many things with it, and I just got to take you there. It is going to be a lovely surprise when I take you on this adventure. We are also, um, any adventures that I take that I find to be fun outside of the homestead, I'm going to start taking you with me as well, even if it's to the zoo. You know, life is meant to be enjoyed, y'all, not to worry. And I know some of you right now may be worrying about where your next meal is coming from. Please understand this. You are not alone. There are many, many who are suffering. There are many who are so worrying. And I'm going to tell you, the Lord says, just to lean unto Him. He is hearing you and He can see you and He will get you through, I promise you. One day at a time. One of the biggest things I had to learn was to let go of my expectations, to let go of my pride, and to let go of my own understanding and things. Sometimes I had too much of a high standard. For instance, if I had a meal of just nothing but eggs in my refrigerator, what would I do? I mean... Would I make a bowl of scrambled eggs and have something to eat? Or would I complain because I have nothing? Look deeply. See what you have. It's time to be creative with anything. Anything that we have in our homes. 
whether it be from a canned good, box good, or fresh, seek and you shall find and then make it. You will find that sometimes we just have to get through. I have done that and then once I got through and I was able to have that better, I enjoyed it even more. You know, I am, I've, I've been watching things change so much, like I said, I, I've never seen, I've never seen produce go bad so quickly that you, you pay a lot of money for. It is an eye opener, y'all. So, I have an option. Instead of fresh, buy frozen. It won't go bad. Stick it in your freezer. I have fresh veg or, uh, not vegetables, but fresh fruit in my freezer. So, I am learning that if I want a yogurt, I will take out so much of my fr uh, frozen fruit, let it defrost, and I have that for my yogurt. So it's sp I spend less money. I'm being more wise than I am pompous. I'm being more humbling than I am controlling. And I'm being more knowledgeable than I am homemaking. This was my mess up. And it cost me dearly. So I learned to trust, or I trusted something I shouldn't have trusted. So it, it kind of knocked me down a few notches. So, y'all, I'm not going to tell any of you what to do. But I will say, um, you will learn fresh food from me. But you will not get it completely preservative free. If you think about it, here's an interesting reality to it. That block of cheese, so this is where I need to put reality into the chemical police folks. Um, that block of cheese that even I grade, and I do, I, I, I grade my blocks of cheese. It is a lot better choice than the pre-graded um, ones. Only because there's a few less preservatives in that block of cheese than there is in the pre-graded. Now mind you, I said a few less preservatives because there are still preservatives in that block of cheese that I graded and put it in my refrigerator. We cannot step completely away another one your flour when you bake your flour with your flowers it is processed when you use your butter it is processed when you add your other ingredients there is processing in everything we use we cannot fully step away from it and so if you go and look at your almond milk, okay, a lot of this has been processed, y'all. Ultra pasteurized is a major processing. Our heavy cream has been ultra pasteurized. So look, you're not going to step away from everything. So, I mean... So I, I had to stop and get my reality too. I thought, you know, I, I there's no way in my fairy tale world that I could step away from processed foods and everything that I do. We don't live in those in that world. We don't live in those times. So um, I live where everything is processed, and we just have to do it the best that we can do. So with that, y'all. Um, I am still slightly, I'm getting better each day, so I will be back, and when I do, we'll be cooking back in our kitchen and all that again, and I will take you on this adventure with me very soon, because I think it might help a lot of other people. 
We are living in a world that is full of high stress. Very high stress. I could see it in so many people and I could feel the worries. I could feel the anxieties. It's it's overwhelming. So rest assured y'all, we're gonna make it through. We really will. We'll try to find a way to make it enjoyable as we're on this homestead as well. I love you all. I want to thank you once again. And do me a favor, please. I, I have no idea why this happens, but it is happening. And so, and regardless, I'm just going to tell you regardless, my my peace is where I, whatever happens here, but check your subscriptions because a lot of you are being unsubscribed we have dropped dramatically I've had several of you come to me telling me why am I being unsubscribed I had to keep hitting that button honestly y'all I don't know um, some say that maybe you we have a lot our list may be too much and so if you don't watch one particular um, subscription versus the others they will start cutting you down I don't know why they do that I have had it happen to me some of my subscriptions I've had to click to go back to the ones that I liked um, but I don't think they have a right to me to pick and choose what I want when I pick and choose what I want. <laughs> so just check your subscriptions. One thing that will help me a lot to keep me going and maybe help to keep me from being unsubscribed to you is hit that like button. Make a comment. Keep me in the algorithm and see if we can't bring ourselves back up. So, um that's about it y'all i hope you enjoy and have a very blessed day and until next time much love from parton's heritage homestead